every business organization would like to be successful increase in sales profit maximization so the managers in the organization dream of these and uh, strive to achieve organizational goals but to turn these dreams into reality they should have proper planning as yes or no uh, that means the managers should think in advance what to do how to do when to do in simple words we can say planning bridges the gap between where we are standing today and where we want to reach understand look at here there is a diagram it is your present position and uh, this one is your future situation so the gap between these two can be filled with a process called uh, planning understand what is the meaning of planning planning bridges the gap between where we are standing today and uh, where we want to reach understand and also planning is the primary function of management under planning we will fix the objective for the organization and remaining all functions are performed based on the plans made by the organization understand for example listen under staffing stage we will recruit the employees or select the employees for the organization and number of employees required or what type of employees required as yes or no this all completely depends upon the plans made by the organization so planning stands uh, the first uh, function of management understand planning involves a setting objective objective means the goals to be achieved by the organization and selecting an appropriate courses of action that means you know planning involves a setting objectives and a selecting an appropriate course of action from among various alternatives available understand suppose listen a organization need to increase sales by 50 percentage understand so increasing sales by 50 percentage is the objective of organization there are lot of ways to increase the sales for example giving more advertisement for the product or uh, giving sales promotions like you no know, buy one get one or otherwise uh, 5% extra discounts from these selecting one which is really beneficial to the organization understand so planning involves setting objectives and selecting an appropriate course of action which is really beneficial to achieve organizational goal plans are always developed for a fixed period of Time. usually in organization plans are made for one month or six months or we can say one year understand but no organization can go on planning endlessly you got my point so let us discuss the features of planning there are seven points to discuss the first one planning focus on achieving organizational objectives planning involves uh, setting objectives and uh, giving a direction for action understand the second point is that planning is the primary function of management the remaining functions of management like uh, organizing staffing directing and controlling should be performed completely based on the plans prepared or uh, developed by the organization understand after setting the objectives only we can perform the remaining functions of management the next point planning is pervasive pervasive means you no know, planning is not restricted to top level management or restricted to a particular business organization planning is being used in all type of organization and in all levels of management understand the next point is planning is continuous what is the meaning of continuous planning is a never ending function that means you know as we study planning is made for a for fixed period of time so no say one month or six months or one year or after completing that particular period of time 
definitely there will be a need for new plans according to the requirement and a need of business organization fifth point planning is futuristic what is the meaning of futuristic planning is a function which enables a manager to look ahead understand so it is a futuristic function it is a, a function which is focused on future no plans are made for past plans are always made for future no so planning is a futuristic function sixth point is planning involves a decision making as we studied planning involves a setting objectives and selecting an appropriate alternative for achieving these objectives that's or no so how we are selecting if we have various alternatives then we should select the action which is really beneficial to the organization beneficial means if efficient and effective planning is actually required only if there are various alternatives if we have only one uh, way then there is no need of planning suppose listen after completing your 12th commerce course uh, you have only only one choice that is to go bcom there is no other course then there is no need for planning yes or no uh, you are planning because there are lot of course which can be obtained by the commerce students so no like uh, chartered accountancy or company secretary or bcom bba uh, there are a lot of courses so that's why you are planning about your future or about the next course it uh, involves a decision making decision making means opting one appropriate course of action which is really beneficial and uh, effective efficient for the organization so it involves a decision making understand seventh point that is planning is a mental activity planning is an intellectual activity of thinking rather than doing it is a thinking function understand so what are the points the first one planning focus on achieving organizational objective by uh, stating in advance uh, what to do how to do when to do and uh, who is to do it understand so the main aim of planning is to achieve organizational goal second point is planning is the primary function of manage or after uh, developing the objectives for the organization only we can perform the other functions of management like uh, organizing staffing directing and uh, controlling without plan or without setting the objective it is impossible to perform the remaining function of management understand that's why planning stands the first function of management understand and the third point planning is pervasive planning is not restricted to a particular organization or to a particular level of management understand it is implemented or it can be adopted in all type of all type of organization and in all levels of management understand so planning is a pervasive function and next one planning is continuous after the completion of a plan there is a need for new plan understand that means you know according to the need and requirement of business organization so planning is a continuous function and the next one planning is futuristic planning is a function which enables a manager to look ahead planning is made for future not for past so planning is a future function and the sixth point planning involves a decision making because we are choosing an appropriate course of action to achieve organizational goal from among various alternatives available understand so there is a decision making and uh, the seventh point planning is a mental activity planning is an intellectual activity of thinking rather than doing